<laughs> okay, they're here. There we are. There we are. Live video. Here we, we are go. live. We, I just have we to have been you. struggling. I have oh to my just tell word. you something. Yeah, all those that are joining us right now. Don't okay. listen to anything he says. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> oh, look who's here. It's Suzanne. Okay. Oh, she does Hi, not. Hi, Suzanne. <laughs> She is so funny. Don't okay. listen to Jay. Okay, listen. Listen. No, no listen, listen to me. Hi, no. Carol Hooten. No, no. Hi, Carol. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. I just want to say something. She is hysterical under pressure. Oh, my gosh. Because we, we, were, we were trying to find a different way to go um, on our computer because a lot of people are saying they can't quite hear us, right? When we're on the phone. Yeah. So we're on the phone right now. So we're sorry if you can't hear us as loud. So it's talk. Talk and, you, and when you get stressed, I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh at you. It's just, you are funny under stress. Cause you go, I think I've just well, learned like, to <laughs> just try to like put out the fires. Oh, and then hysterical. I'll say something randomly weird and then I'll yeah, say something else. And then I have to laugh. And I, uh, it, uh, she kills me. Anyway. So someday Jay's going to be the technical one. Yeah, yeah, right. And, I, and I'll get to watch you running around. Oh, with yeah. And so then you can start and laughing. I'll laugh at you. Okay. <laughs> I, and I don't get I'm not laughing. At you. Is you laughing? I'm, no, I'm laughing with it. He's laughing at me. <laughs> anyway, so we well, were trying to we we're trying to set it up on the laptop yeah. because you can hear better on the laptop. But it, again, it was trying to make <laughs> us have you pay, and it just doesn't uh -uh. want us to let you do this without paying. No, and we, we, we hate that. Anyway, so we went on our phone. So and this welcome. is another reason why I think we're going to eventually go to YouTube on this stuff. But anyway, yes. until then. Until then, Until hi. then, hello, everybody. <laughs> and welcome to the show again, uh, the Jay and Karina show. Yeah, the Osmond Connection. Because Osmond Connection. You're here with us, all of That's you wonderful right. friends. Yes. And I can't even read their names without my glasses. Oh, oh. My eyes are so Don't you think she looks so great bad. in glasses? I, she, I don't like my glasses. Oh, I, I don't know. I love your glasses. Diane and Linda. Mm -hmm. Diane Kim. Woodworth. Kim yeah. and Virginia. Oh, and, you know we, we we have received so Teresa, many. Lisa, Wendy. Wendy. <laughs> Hello, Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa. Hey, Terry and Michael. Uh, thank you for those wonderful gifts, and thank you to everybody that has sent We've those gifts and oh, funnest God. gifts. Oh and, gosh. And who was it that sent the lemon thing? Oh, Lisa. Lisa. Lisa, think this is the cutest little thing. This is a lemon inside this. It's, yes. a, it's a charm. It's a little lemon charm. But like, you don't have to send gifts. It's like no. just even a note. Sending it on here, writing something on here, sending a card. Oh. It's just so those sweet cards. to get your cards. Man, and those emails. We got Gosh. the sweetest little note this morning um, from our sweet friend Heva. Heva? Hi, <laughs> Hi. Heva. Hi, sweet little Heva. Um, she just wanted us to know that God loves us. I know. It's, she's the sweetest thing. Sweetest little thing. thing. Oh, gosh, we love Heba. We just love your notes. We love um, we love to know that you're praying for us and that yes. you think about us because we think about you. We pray for you. Yes, we do. We see how you take care of each other and pray for each other. And, and by the way, uh, Carol is going through a hard time. Heart surgery. Heart surgery. Please pray for her. And... Uh, Gosh, there's so many people that are going through hard times right mm -hmm. now and struggles. But boy, it just takes us all to pray for each other and to help each other, lift each other. And that's why, again, like why we do this, because we really do love you and we care about you and we want to stay connected. And and uh, and we know that this is a way also you stay connected with each other. With each other. And we think that's really yes. important. So even yes. if we walked out right now, and we just left this rolling and let all you talk to each other. It would be worth it. It would be wonderful. Because yeah. it's all about all of you wonderful people, like, watching out for each other. Yes, that's so true. Anyway. And, and, and I have something funny I have to say. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever, has anybody ever seen people wave at you and you wave back, but they're actually waving to the person <laughs> behind you? <laughs> has that ever happened Jay to you? Jay has that story on steroids. Okay. We have this great friend named Mark, okay? And he came up to 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 visit us and, and, and to stay with us. And so And we got a room at the Kodiak at Resort. The Kodiak for Mountain him. Resort, yeah, yeah. Which is the best resort so we, in the so world. We were meeting him there and we were in his room. We'd got it all ready for yeah, him. Yeah, we've got it all ready for him and, and we're everything. Waiting in his room and Okay. Well, he he calls and he's right outside the door. Oh, so Karina goes out there and says, 
Uh, I went to direct him to, to where dir to park the trailer. But I didn't know. He didn't know. He I didn't know he was right. That. He didn't know he was parked. I thought he was coming. Jay right? thought I was like in the restroom or something. Yeah. And so, so I go out and I direct him on the, it's dark, okay? I go out in the parking lot and I kind of go like this and I'm, I'm like guiding him back to where. Behind the to cabin. park where the trailer's parked. Yes. Jay thinks I'm in the restroom and he's waiting for Mark to pull up with his trailer. Okay, so I think he's pulling up and so I don't. I go open the door and I don't see Karina and I don't see Mark. I thought, okay, well, where did Karina go? But I see a truck coming up here with, with, a, a, with a toy hauler. And I think, well, you know, I, I thought Mark had a white truck in the trailer, but this is a black truck in the trailer. And it's, so I start waving and, <laughs> jumping and, and, up and, and down. jumping up and down like it. Like a Over turkey, here. like Over a real here. idiot, you know? Hi. And I'm playing like, stop, stop. And, and, and these guys go, they slow down. There's two guys in the car. I go, I didn't know Mark brought a friend. So <laughs> they go like, real slow. And I'm waving at them, and I get look at them real close, and they're looking at me like, and they're talking to each other like, who is that who weirdo? Is and I'm like, oh. <laughs> We're seeing you jumping around and we're waving your arms. We're like, what I thought, are you stop, doing? stop. <laughs> I didn't see you could see me. And, <laughs> and so, and then I, I, I said, okay, bye, bye. And then I walked back. <laughs> Jay, Jay was like, I wonder if all the guests are thinking, or they're going, is this how they welcome us here in Wyoming? Oh. <laughs> Some guy out in the parking lot jumping up and down. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, that was hysterical. And then I'm we walk up you. and he looks at us like, I feel so stupid. <laughs> I, I know that's happened to everybody. That that's why I'm saying it, don't feel so bad now no. because, because I really get it. I get it. Has but, that happened to any of you where I'm you've sure had some has. silly thing like that happen to you where you just feel so stupid? You're like, oh. Well, that reminds me of the story. We've already talked about this story. That uh, about, uh, I, I don't know if you remember this this sweet little gal named Jay. Oh gosh, Jay. Uh, I mean, I, I know we've- You've got to get this across. I've got to get this. This he is the same thing. early. I'm like, we've already talked about this. I don't know if they remember it though. It was a long time ago. Anyway, <laughs> Kareen and I go into this- We're living in Chester. Chester, okay, yeah. When we were living in Chester, it was that first year of Jay, Jay starting to write this musical. <laughs> yeah, we're living it was in like Chester. the first year. We'd walk every day about two miles. We'd go up every the wall, day. we'd go down, and we'd get our same sandwich, our hot chocolate. We'd go see our friend Neil at the- at the, this the charity, shop. charity shop, and then, and then we, but I says, we, oh, let's get some gelato, right? So <laughs> we go into this little store, and then we notice the little gal, sweet, she's, she's about in her thirties or twenties, maybe twenties, yeah, yeah twenties, has, has has J on it, J A Y on her a name badge, tag. name tag, <laughs> and I'm going, wow, <laughs> are you named J? She what? says, tell she us says, about this. Let yeah, me. my mother. <laughs> Do you, so, you, tell please, you, tell you tell it. You tell it so no, funny. You tell it. Well, my mother uh, was a real big fan of this group. Of this group the called the Us. <laughs> when she was a teenager, and I, I didn't say anything right away. I go, really? And she said, yeah. And she just, she, <laughs> she wanted a boy, <laughs> but she got a girl, and that was me. <laughs> and so she wanted a boy, and she wanted to name it after Jay. Which was in this Which group in that she was group. such a crazy fan. Yeah, and so her, she says, I can't believe she His posters were all over her wall. Yeah. And she wanted to have a boy and name him Jay <laughs> after her favorite, you know, teen idol. And and she's yeah. she's telling us this whole story. Jay and I are totally straight faced. And she's like, So I got to be named Jay. And Jay just looked at her and he looked oh. at me and he said, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, Well, it's not your fault. And Jay uh. says, well, it kind of is my fault. I'm Jay. I'm Jay. I'm, and I'm she Jay and Oh, my <laughs> heck. And then, she, and then we took a picture. Uh, she's like, can I send a pic? Can I take a picture with you and uh, send it to my mom? And he's like, of course you can. She's and, the sweetest little gal. Uh, uh, we, had, we had hysterical. fun with it. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. But, uh, hey, you know what? We, I don't know how to say thank you. There's so many people that have sent gifts, sweet gifts and thoughtful gifts and with showing their life and, Oh, and we're just enjoying this And we loved this so all much. your pet pictures. Oh my oh, gosh. and the pet pictures as well. They were the cutest pet pictures. And Jay, Jay actually was trying to find his pet picture, and he came across lots of different photos. And that's why today we're gonna, he's gonna do some memory I photos. I came across photos. But look at this one he found. Look at this. Okay, that's my favorite dog, Lady. 
and, and, and people, that. some people wondered if, when I've showed that, I've showed it to my, a couple of my friends, and they wonder if that was Fuji, but that's not Fuji. That was right before we got Fuji, but that was Lady. That's the neighbor's dog up there. But that's the black, beautiful uh, Belgian Shepherd is, is uh, my Lady. And, uh, but oh, we've, so we've enjoyed, about lady. we've enjoyed your pet pictures. Tell so. us about Lady. And she Lady. was what, oh gosh, she was my emotional, stability growing up because you know we, we work so hard we come home and, and she my neighbor with that little dog she said lady would stay at the gate when we left early in the morning until we came back she would just stay at that gate waiting for me and talk about a loyal wonderful dog and companion I had that was I'd come home I couldn't wait to get home to lady and she would and I would just run around the yard and play and hug each other and and just uh, it was, Did you ever talk to Lady and tell her like, uh, your troubles? I would or? talk to her all the time. Mm -hmm. I, would, I, I mean, it was hard to tell that she wasn't even a... I thought, well, maybe. She, I don't know. <laughs> to me, she was human, you know. But she, I felt she understood me. And, mm -hmm. and she'd look at me. And I remember one time I was really sad. And she comes and pushes my face. Like, like, chin, like, up, Jay. chin up, chin up. Yeah, chin, chin up, Jay. And then snuck, put her little... Well, it's right there, and, it's, and just when it, she could. I really believe dogs can have empathy. Mm -hmm. I know special they gifts. special mm -hmm. gifts God gives them, and especially the non what do you call it? Um, uh, non nonverbal, but what do you call it? Uh, unconditional mm -hmm. love. Yeah, but uh, anyway, that we, we've really enjoyed those pet pictures and uh, and seeing all your pets. Uh, also. Uh, we want to know how you're coming along with um, uh, your, your gratitude, your gratitude journals. journals. Yes, yes, we're we're jumping in and doing it too, and it's really changed my outlook oh. on my day because what I start doing when I know I have to write something down before I go to bed during the day, I'll start noticing little things. Yeah, that I know I'm going to write in my gratitude journal. Sometimes it's just a person's name or a word or. You know, it might be a whole experience. You know what? You know what I did the other day. I forgot to tell you this. Mm -mm. I, I, you know, my little, my yeah. little, I, I carry this little journal with me, and and Every I, by the way, I've, I've had journal diary. What Every, do you call it? Every uh, minute I've known you, but I've had it all my life, and that's mm -hmm. what it really why how I based my uh, uh, play, the musical. I went through, you wouldn't believe the journal. <laughs> How much reading? How much reading did I have to, uh, you and I have to go through to get this? Well, thank heavens you've kept all those bins journal. and bins and 60s, bins. 70s. Oh, my gosh. In Sweden, and we talked about this last week, I think, but in Sweden we had, uh, I even had a Swedish journal that I that we went mm -hmm. back in, in time when, when I took her to Sweden, and we went to, and I showed Lasse was, Landahl. I couldn't believe it. Like, Jay told me, well, I have to get my... Swedish journal for going to Sweden. So he went out in the bins and he looked and it was a special green notebook because he has them green. all color coded. Yeah. And he pulled out that green notebook and it not, and I was like, yeah, 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 whatever. He pulls out this map and it's the map of Sweden. He's drawn a line from everywhere he went to the next place to the next place. The whole tour, he has just pages and pages and pages of everything they did, everyone they met. And then in the back, there was a plastic little plastic yeah. Ziploc thing. Uh, you know those ones that used to keep your pencils in back in school? Yeah. It was full of Swedish coins, and those were the coins that he had left over from the trip. That was just one little, that was his Sweden journal. It, well, and you know, and, and he I, has just tons of those. Tons. From and, the time he was small. And she looked at it, and I go, oh dear, we're gonna go through all those. <laughs> I says, yeah, we have to, sweetheart. We've yeah. gotta really document. No, I was excited because- uh, I mean, I felt like- Jay would read to me. She actually liked it. I loved it. I loved reading about your childhood, reading all your memories, reading how you felt. I felt, yeah. You know, so- And, and this is why, you see in my first book stages, I didn't really put in how I felt. I put, I put a lot, those. no, I put a lot of, here's what happened, here's what happened with Led Zeppelin. Travelogue. Yeah, yeah, travelogue. Mm -hmm. My stages was more of a travelogue, but, but that's why feelings, I, the, 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 that's why I wanted to do this living memoir on well, stage. Well, that's why you're doing that other book that turned into a living memoir. Yeah. You I want to put more feeling heart. into it. My heart. But, but this, these document, and so, but so. I mean, look at this. This is oh, Jay's life. He has, I mean, you wouldn't believe some of the stuff every day he's writing. 
and it's just notes and and well, I, I write things notes, that thoughts he's, and what to do. And, and 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 a lot of these have feelings and at the bottom, and I'm not going to show you because they're his feelings. Well, but, but I've, I've, just, I've done this since I was twelve. Oh, no, ten. Yeah, eight. I was going to say no eight even before that. Eight when I started when I was those, baptized. Mother gave writings, me a journal. Uh -huh, some of those writings went way back. To when you were Mother gave me a journal and a planner, and I says, and she says, if you do this every day or at least once a week or whatever, mm -hmm. you'll you'll be you'll be glad. And I mm -hmm. go, wow, she a blessing. So anyway, we're hoping that at least your gratitude journals are are helping you to feel to see things throughout the day. And if you can hang in there with us and do it during November, and then we want to know from you like how it worked. If you do it the whole month of November, yeah your gratitude journal. We want to know if it lifts you, if it makes you happier, if it makes you more thankful for your all of your blessings and the things in your life. And there's there's always something to be thankful for. And we told you that we're oh. staying with our wonderful friends, the Calls, that we're, we're building right next to. And they have a, one daughter left at home. They have yeah. a great family, big well, family. Wonderful family. And so they have, they have these guest quarters that they told us, just come stay here. You'll be right next door to your house. Mm -hmm. By the way, we don't have our roof on yet. We were but, supposed to get it we'll last we'll let you Monday. know when that happens. So we're being told again this Monday, and we're very frustrated <laughs> because we want that roof on to protect all of our stuff downstairs. Yeah. But anyway, so we're staying with those wonderful, wonderful people, and they are definitely our seen angels. Oh, and they are. We know that, that uh, they listen to the Lord. Yes, the Lord do. is telling them that we need help right now, or that we need a friend right now, or that well, we need, you know, and, and, you know, and they're stepping up and they're, they're listening. And those promptings that we all get to help a certain person or to help someone and to do something, yes. if we'll listen to those promptings, our lives will be blessed for that. But yes. in their house, there's this plaque, this uh, saying on the on the wall, and it says, "What if, whatever you woke up." to today, if all you had when you woke up today was what you thanked God for yesterday. Wow. And I just, I just think, think about that. that. Go into detail what, because that, at first it doesn't, you don't, it doesn't ring a bell. So, Go so into think what about if you woke up today and all you had was what you thanked God for yesterday. And I think about your prayer yesterday. Think about when you prayed yesterday, did we not pray at all? Did we wake up with nothing, <laughs> you know? Or yeah. did we pray for just general stuff or general life? Or, or is it a routine, a routine yeah. speech? Yeah, are we really truly grateful to yeah. God for mm -hmm. everything in particular? And, and God loves those prayers that are very specific. Yes. And where we thank him from our heart, you know, with, for specific people and specific blessings. And, and uh, it's just being, you know, we're focusing on gratitude this month even more so than normal because of, of American Thanksgiving, and it's kind of our month to focus yeah. on gratitude. But yeah. but you know, are we living in gratitude every day, and are we thanking God every day for all of the blessings that He and miracles well, that He blesses? Uh, well, us and with? and this I truly believe this strongly that heaven's waiting to help us. Mm -hmm. But you know that door, that picture with the Savior, He's knocking at the yeah. door, but there's no handle. Mm -hmm. We have to because of agency, our agency, we have to ask. Mm -hmm. Scripture says, seek, and you shall find, ask, and it shall be good, knock, and it shall be opened. Well, and, and that's right out of the Bible, and it's wonderful. And, but we have to exercise that faith to ask, or heaven, or they can't do it. So being grateful is one of those. Being grateful yeah. opens that up. And what I was going to tell you, and I forgot, I just I got sidetracked, and I forgot to tell you, I, was, I got depressed last week. You remember when I got depressed? Mm -hmm. that, about that thing that happened? Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to go into that. Yeah. And I went, and, I, and all of a sudden, I started writing down the negative thoughts that hit my mind. So then I said, okay, if I really, if I really practice what I preach, I should say, what am I grateful for? Right? Because we've been. Mm -hmm. So then all of a sudden I went, oh, but I'm grateful for. It. And as I was grateful, it canceled out all the negative things, mm -hmm. canceled them out because mm -hmm. I changed my. Like, like this little lemon thing that Lisa sent. I took those lemons, the negative thoughts that were in my mind, or depressive thoughts, and I replaced them with, what am I grateful for? How do mm -hmm. I feel blessed? And I'm telling you, by the end of that 30-minute exercise, I was back to normal. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. and, a, and a happy person. That's again. wonderful. It, but but it takes effort to, to do that. You have to think. Mm -hmm. That's why gratitude journals are wonderful because it. Do you remember when we talked with Brenda last year here with everybody? Oh, Do you yeah. remember our friend Brenda? And she showed us your uh, tests they've taken on the brain and how when you're negative and when you're depressed, your brain's it's this dark darkness. But when there's positivity, mm -hmm. even even positive music, yeah. even like your music, and I think that's why everyone here yeah. loved the music because it was about positive things most of the time and uplifting things. And, and it lights your brains up. It changes yeah. your brain chemistry. It's an actual physical change oh. when you're great, when you're grateful, when did, you're happy, when you're positive. Man, did you? And it, it, am I jumping the gun when I talk mm -hmm. about Alex? Yeah. How you change? I'm jumping the gun. Okay, yeah. look, so, look, so give us just a minute. Give us a Jason, minute. I have, a, I have the most story. amazing story with yes. Alex, who's, who plays me in the play. Yes. Okay. Uh, so uh, but talking about positive year. though, and, and being healthy, where we, you know, we we have this Osmond Fit. So and, right and here it's, on and Facebook. Right here on Facebook. But it's not just a diet or not just eating right or sleeping enough or, or getting weight or losing or weight or water. It's about our attitude. It's 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 the mind, body, and spirit, which is the soul, right? Mm -hmm. And so we talk about things that are positive and 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 uh, the spirit and, and things that are, are uplifting and then they're physical, which is all connected. Which we do which we do tend to get more about the physical body in there. So if you want to join Osmond Fit, it's on Jay's Facebook here. It's on his page, and you just uh, you look under his groups, and one of them is Osmond Fit. And uh, we're actually going to be do, doing some fun videos. Dr. Mark, oh, yeah. told you about. So the way that Jay and I lost our weight, I lost. I'm still 20. I'm still losing. I'm not. I'm not losing. I haven't met my goal yet. And I, I didn't even mean to, and I'm still losing. I know. Like, I didn't even think I was still losing. <laughs> you weren't even but, thinking you were but I was, <laughs> But I was, I'm doing the shakes with you because I really like them. Yeah. And uh, Jay's going to show you how to make his shakes. But um, it, There's I, a secret I'm, to it. So what, what we've set up is if you want to try to lose it the way we did, osmondfit.com will show you that product that we have used. And it's not just for losing weight. Actually, Jay has gotten some real bad arthritis in his hands his drumming hands, and uh, he has some joint pain. I have yeah. some joint pain in my lower back. There's this stuff called joint tea that we drink, and, and it just alleviates the pain. Like, we don't have the pain from our arthritis. Um, also, this joint mist that I'll even get it right below that little knot in my mm -hmm. neck. It just hurts, and if I put that on there, it doesn't hurt for days. Like, it takes the pain away for days. And um, anyway, and then that Cardio 9 that I'm using, and it's making my hair grow back in. You all know that I've been having a hard time with my hair falling out, if you've been listening the last couple of weeks. So the Cardio 9, it oxygenates your blood. It gives you a lot of energy. Oh, boy. What it did for me was it, it woke my brain up. My brain has felt like it's been asleep since I had COVID in June. And I could feel all those little blood vessels in my brain waking up. I could feel mental clarity from this cardio nine. Oh, it's, it's amazing. She just says like something's happening to my mind. And it's I like almost kind of started up. crying because I felt like yeah. I've had this like wet blanket on my head yeah. since I had COVID, and it's like this brain fog. So it kind of has been really helping with. But my, and it's not caffeine. There's no caffeine there's no in stimulants. it. No stimulants. It's all natural from plants. Organic. And organic. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't recommend doing cardio nine at night though. Oh no! Oh no! I'll do it. I'll <laughs> do it in the day. Anyway, we're not trying uh, to sell but, that yeah, product. We, we want, we, we and again, we're not trying to that. sell like so many people try. It's worked for us. It just we just we love you. We just want to know what's. So happening. anyway, anyone that wants to, and there's there's groups on there that they meet together. They start talking about keto, or they start talking about, you know, Weight Watchers or whatever. Yeah. Great, you know, we just all it's kind of a place to meet to help each other and lift each other. Only positive is uh, allowed there. But I but I do have an apology to make. Last oh, yes. week I yes, said yes, yes. I said. Can you put your phone numbers or what I to emails or, or mm -hmm. worse addresses? And oh, don't do that. I'm so sorry. I, uh, I, I, I go, oh gosh, don't do that. Yes. Afterwards, he was like, oh no, oh, was that boy. wrong? And I said, yes, that was not good. <sighs> you know what? I just realized the Alex story is on my phone, and we're oh. using my phone. It's okay. We can do it right after it when we can. Uh, okay. God bless. We're okay. we're going to since we can't do it here. There's an interview that Jay did. Remember we talked about the Jay interviewing Jay last week? It was the most sweet. They are, what a sweet kid. Like, sweet guy Alex, Alex is. Alex is the coolest dude, dude and I'd say. And I have to tell you, you didn't only cast him. 
I was blown away by his dancing at the workshop. He is the best dancer, <laughs> and he has a great voice. Yeah. He's just got this, I don't know what it is about him, and I realized when you guys, when, when he was interviewing you, uh, he has your heart. I'm telling he you. has the biggest heart like you. He is the sweetest, most tender kid. And you two were having these moments at the same time where oh, your hearts were just... Wait till you see just, this interview. So I'm sorry, I was going to show it to you right now, but I'm going to have to... What well, I'll do is put it on Jay's Facebook right after we're done. Okay, because okay. they've got to see that. You've got to... When you see it, notice his heart, okay? And, and, then, and then how we connected and, and, uh, and what the purpose of this play is going to be. And then how... And, and, People who have any questions, it's kind of like you said a canvas. I love that story about how you said uh, uh, a picture. Oh, oh yes. You, you, you hit the analogy perfectly. We are, uh, I am painting a picture, okay? And I'm just putting, I'm just starting. So put your day in a gallery, I and did, he's invited I, you all to I'm come invited watch you him to watch this, okay. Paint and to see his painting he's making. And, and they, and so we just barely put a couple clips on, on uh, uh, Osmond. That, those teasers. Uh, those teasers on, uh, what's it called, Osmond? Well, uh, no, we put it on the Osmond Connection, or um, no. the Osmond's musical, musical Facebook, Facebook page. Facebook page, yes. And so some people have seen those and connected uh, to those. Okay, and they think, they think the painting is done. This is just the, getting the paint on. We haven't even done the choreography. We haven't done the, the yeah. uh, I mean, but people are already, there's not. Not very many, we, but there's a couple, like, some we negativity. That is this. I don't believe this is just what's... They, they go, can't even dance. On. Where's your vision? Using, they're not using the one finger when they say that... We, the, the, we, we, we haven't done we haven't nothing. They don't even know it yet. They haven't even got started yet. No, we, we've kind of been like... In January, we do that. Jay, in and, January. I, Jay and I, this week, like... It's, People have no vision with it, that or well, saying like that. Well, huh? and, it, and it's funny. It's like, you know, there have been those couple of teasers, and... You know, just wait, like we just talked about with Jay's heart, and we feel Alex has Jay's heart. Yeah, and we it, feel like he's he a is tender, be, sweet so. kid, and he's he's really captured Jay. Jay went for like in the casting process. It's about these personalities, and he, yes, and he's about. I don't know if you've noticed in any of them, Joseph Peacock. He's got that. He's really got Donnie's fun, heart. He's got that fun, yeah. uplifting. You know that uh, positive. He's just got this spark about him and anyway it he's tried to cast all of the brothers to kind of capture their personality capture who they are and, and tell his story through his eyes so what i was telling him is like we you know jay jay reads like comments and things and he sees he sees that there are a few people that so many of you are so positive and you know i just picture I was picturing Jay during the week. I didn't tell you this, mm -hmm. but I picture him being like this kid in kindergarten coming home and he painted this picture and he's like, mom, look, I drew you this picture. <laughs> and I, I see most of you just being so supportive and kind yeah. and being like, oh, little Jay, you know, but I love how you made those trees with your hand and, you know, and oh, oh, those colors are really great. You're the best <laughs> artist, you know, and just being positive. And then I see just like three or four, oh, but they just stick out couple, in my yeah. head. And you picture little five-year-old Jay coming home with his picture, and you picture those those ornery people going, "Little Jay, you use the ugliest colors, and you'll never be an artist. <laughs> and you better just forget it because oh. I'm not going to look at your pictures anymore, and I'm going to rip your picture in half." <laughs> oh, well, it makes me think: How are they handling their lives when they come at me like that? I mean, I what is going on with them? I mean. I know. I pray for them. I, I, I know. But, but I, I hope know. that they can learn to be positive. But just realize, like we said, this is Jay. We all in, we invited all of you, basically, when he started this musical. He's invited you to this gallery to watch him paint a wonderful masterpiece of his life. And it's going to be beautiful. And he has the vision of what he wants it to look like in the end. Yeah. Right now, all he's done is put on this blue picture, this, this blue color on the canvas. With and, maybe a stage. And some of you are just <laughs> back there waiting and going... Oh, that's a beautiful shade of blue. Jay, come on. We know you can do this picture. You're doing you know? good, Jay. And we appreciate you're gonna all paint, of you. I'm going to paint the whole thing by February 3rd. And just, and just ignore those people <laughs> that are standing in the room going, how can he call it a picture? There's no trees there. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm, I'm going to boycott. I'm, just, I'm not going to buy any of his pictures because this one's ugly. <laughs> oh, gosh. And, anyway, and, but thank you all. Thank we, you for those who have been so supportive. People and, 
And I just watch him, like, I'm just so proud of him, and I know the vision. <laughs> I, you know, I've seen all 29 versions of the script now. He's still, there's probably, like Alex said, there'll probably be 29 more before oh, we're done. And wait till we get there over there uh, in, done, in, in January to start looking, doing the choreography yeah. and all this stuff. And realize that he's not in any way trying to replace his brothers or no. himself. He's not trying to but, say they're the Osmonds. I mean, come on, you guys. This is a he's, representation. I think Katrina of it. was the best. Katrina was like, hey, guys. Wasn't that sweet? Yes. Yeah. And she's like straightening it out, going, this is just, he's not saying they're the Osmonds, hello. He's saying that he's telling his story through them. And they're actors to tell his story. Through, exactly, you know? And exactly. of course, they're not going to be the Osmonds. Of course, they're not yeah. going to replace his brothers. And of course, nobody can be. Your brothers how do you, and you, how do you replace no one can be the Osmonds no, because you guys so. were amazing and and you love your brothers so much and you you're ready to go to no no I'm not I'm just looking seven no, seven, that's seven. <laughs> I'm jumping <laughs> I just I just need you to still be here with me unless well, you want me to be done and no I don't want you to be done stuff. I don't want you to be done mm -hmm. because as you were talking I was looking at pictures saying about about how the vision. Of what we see, of what you, uh, you and I have been talking about this so forever, and the vision of uh, and how those people and uh, the produ producers see what Alex and I talked about on this interview, which I hope you watch. See, and it, and to, to don't be so short vision, don't be so quick to make a judgment, and not only are we this way, like, and. and and I don't use the, want to use the word bully, but it's like when someone comes in and starts trying to make a statement or a judgment or a control thing, you know, we need to be more kind with each other. And it made me think when you were talking about that, is that, you know, I, I have to be careful too that I don't prejudge people, you know, and what they're talking about and, and to give more encouragement to people. Um, I remembered in my journal uh, I, re I did an acronym called LOVE which I felt was inspired and L stands for listen O was to overlook the overlook those little tendencies we have to stifle someone V is to validate and E is to encourage mm. when you really love someone you know um, whatever they're doing you know whatever project whatever thing they're excited about Listen to or, or problem that they may have. Listen to them. Override that need to fix it. Let them or judge them. Or judge them. Mm -hmm. Validate them. Wow, oh, I understand what you're going through. Or what? Wow. Oh, and then encourage. And I think when we really love like that, we we stop all this negativity. You know, mm -hmm. uh, that's that's going out there. I just I don't know. That's, that's beautiful. But as, as I I've gone through so many. Journal notes and oh man, and, and I used to think you know, you were telling me the other day how <laughs> oh I wish I didn't have to go through that or we didn't have to go through that situation. But you know because of your of that struggle that you had to go through and those hardships that you and I were talking about the other day that you went through, I, I I'm I'm kind of, I'm actually kind of glad you went through that because it made you the depth it gave you depth and. The, and it made you the person you are today. I think a lot of us, and I've been, and as you were talking, and I was looking out at those notes, I was also looking at some of those notes that, that these sweet people are writing about their situations. I mean, oh, I just read that they, someone lost eight members of their family this month. Wow. I'm, I'm going to go back and look at that. But yeah. how do you deal with that? Well, just hang on. The Lord's strengthening you. He's, he's helping you through these things. But hang on, you're going to depth. You're going to develop some depth here. And, and life's not easy, love. and you need our love. You know, they need our love, just like you need all of their love right now. Wow. You need all of their love and support. I need their, you don't know I need how hard yeah, this has been love. for Jay to to dig in there and those pieces of his life that he shoved in a closet and locked the door, <laughs> and he had to go through all that, and he had to, and, and, to dig through it, and get it out, and he needs encouragement, and he needs love, and. And support from all of you. I, I felt alone on this a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and and we and we know that Jay Jay expressed last week, you know, that yeah. he did invite he did invite Meryl to help him on this project. 
he knew that Muriel could possibly be over in England because that was that year we had to move to England. Yeah. And so Jay, Jay knew that we had to be living there to do this project, so we moved there to do it. And uh, I couldn't invite Alan. He, he's not able to come Alan over. Alan and, and Wayne both had to help come. his shoes. Yeah. So he knew Meryl was it because Donnie and Marie were, they were in the mid middle of their residency in the yeah. Flamingo. And so Meryl was it. So he asked Meryl if he'd please help him. And Meryl had his own obligations. And he was, he was um, nice about declining. A, throwing together, a, he was getting a program uh, ready for Dixie College. Yeah. And he was going to be having a residency there at D Dixie College. So he, he had to tell Jay, Jay, I can't do this with you. I've got this commitment for Dixie and, and you're going to have to do this by yourself. But we were just reading again that email that back he, from uh, him. It, yeah, is the, it is the it's, sweetest it's, email. It's a sweet email. He just said, Jay, use this to bless your life. And he said, I am so proud, proud of you. you. You know, go uh, go forward doing this, you, knowing that I'm proud of you, Jay. And and so Jay, this has been his first project, you know, you know, when he was doing the producing of the side by side, his mother was there with him. Yeah. And there were family members on the script mother and yeah. Marie played mother in that. Yeah. You know, so it was a family but project. But I've always had some uh, brother with me. This yeah. has been just Jay. Yeah. And he tried to have his brother with him, and, and he couldn't. So this has been just Jay by himself. And it's been hard for him to be doing this all alone by himself and trying to uh, represent, tell his story, and do it making his family look good and making you see in all of them what he sees and the love he has for them and the, the good people they are and the good family they are. And, and doing it justice, and so we just appreciate those who oh. are being supportive of this boy's heart, because well, it's his heart that's going to be up on that stage. It really is. It's, it's my heart and soul, because I, I, boy, five years. Yeah, it's been hard on him. Yeah. So, so we just appreciate. But it's been wonderful him. too when you think about it, because look at the look at the, the moments I've had, to, and I had to get up on my drums and just play because I, it was so emotional. Mm -hmm. And I'm grateful, I'm so grateful to my brother Merrill for saying, you're on your own, buddy. Proud of you, you can do it. Yeah, but he strong. gave me encouragement, and that's what I'm saying. And I can do it, and I am, and we're doing it. And I, boy, we've got yeah. some wonderful producers. They're Andrew Lloyd Webber's producers, you know. And, uh, but I appreciate all Hamish of you and, and, who are being the supportive ones, because you're like Jay's family, and you're his yeah. friends, and you're my friends, and, and it's just... You don't realize how close of friends you are. You know, we just feel your love. We feel your prayers. And those of you who are being supportive and just hanging out and waiting and, and realizing it's not even started yet. And he's just starting the, the basic color on the back yeah. of the canvas. And <laughs> it's going to be beautiful because his yeah. heart is beautiful. Well, and this is going to be his heart and soul up there. So thank you for all of those who have encouraged Jay and, and yeah. who have been there and, uh, haven't been trying to be negative no. or be fault finding already and and uh thank you so much we and, appreciate and, you and i also appreciate not only the producers but the writers that have helped me too and who have collaborated and collaborated and collaborated mm -hmm. with me we have written this thing i don't know how many times oh, i bet it's nice. 30 that's almost the 30 well, that's, that's when it gets to that many scripts because but, but in between those there was I'm think of the pages. I, I, I was read. looking over those pages of the mm -hmm. notebooks that we. <laughs> yeah. and I got, wow, and yeah. I didn't even know where to start. Yeah, it was just amazing. But anyway, we're really, really, it's coming together. It's, it's not we're there excited. yet. Jay, the other day, Jay, I want you to tell him what you were saying. How, if you were to say two sentences about this musical, what would you say? What is it about? It, it's about our love for each other, our love for you. Our love for the Lord, and it's it's a, it's a celebration of it's a celebration for of, of, of our of life, this journey we call life, and the music that made it all happen for us, and the mission that we were on, and the and the and the people that have been responsive to us and to help us, and the people like oh, you wouldn't believe. You know, we, you hear these wonderful notes and emails of how we've been there for these, for these wonderful people during their hard times. Boy, you don't think you've been there for us in our hard times? You know the kind notes and the responses, and the and the memo and the people that would write to mother and the memo that she would write back and and oh, you just don't know what this what this means to me. That's why, honestly, and I know you feel our hearts. That's why we're doing this. 
We don't get on to get the numbers. We don't really care. But we do care about um, about your uh, what, what you know what you're going through. And that's why we put in Osmond Fit. We thought, well, let's expand it, you know? Just mm -hmm. like, just like uh, when, when my mother or my father and mother, we had the Osmond Foundation, and they wanted to expand it not just to people that were hard of hearing, but to all children. That's where it changed for Children's Miracle Network. And, uh, and we have that journal entry for Mother. It is beautiful. It talks about how each one of you guys with your spouses yeah. came, came, and it was that initial meeting yeah. with your parents yeah. and they uh, had the telephone people right yes and then they talked about Alan and Suzanne were there and Meryl yeah. and Mary and, and you know that you Marie were there and, and Donnie and all of us were there yeah and and how they wanted to expand it from uh, there into into you have to reach more people that can help more people mm -hmm. and you know what's so cool I can honestly say we haven't taken a penny mm -hmm. from that yeah. you know there's the corporation that does all that stuff, but, but but the pure foundation has never taken a penny. And by the way, I have to tell you something. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if I should, is it okay to tell about this new character? You can tell. You can say that one. There's a new character in the script. Yeah, and it didn't it, feel quite right without this new. With character. This new character is going to represent all of you, just like Judy is representing all of Mother's assistants, right? Uh, there's a new character. I'm not going to say the name yet. Yeah. But it's going to represent all of you. And at the end, it was, and so when I, when I have a moment, I just come be so cool. And I'm saying, what was it all for, Father and Mother? You know, when we lost all this, and, and I bet I'm giving too much away. <laughs> I'm giving too much away. I can't say it. And we read this beautiful letter from, from you. And I can't say it. I, 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 <laughs> I, I'm going to give it. Me. I'm going to spill it all. He's hysterical. Uh, oh my goodness. But anyway, it's it's gonna it's a heart it's a heart wrenching thing. So so the cool thing is when Jay was looking for the pictures of of Lady, yeah, he also found a whole bunch of pictures and he wanted to have uh, one of those Facebooks that the lives like this Osmond connection like we did a few of them last year right at the beginning where he found pictures and oh, he gosh. talked about how they made him feel and the memories that he had with them so. Why don't I kind of be the reporter, and I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to find the one. pictures, and I'm going to ask you what you feel when you see them, and okay. tell me a memory okay. about yeah. this. Okay. So this one you found. Oh gosh, I love. Can this. you tell me what you're thinking and what you, what were the memories of this? What's going on here with this photo? <laughs> I'm thinking how cute my parents have always been. And involved in our lives, and then especially uh, how they always wanted to involve Verl and Tom in our lives. And Verl, Verl and Tom actually taught us how to tap dance. Well, he's teaching father and mother how to tap dance. Is that the I'll cutest? Never, I took that picture, and I'll never forget. Now, the pictures I'm showing you, we've had many, many uh, up, uh, connections, and I've showed hundreds of pictures, but we haven't showed you these. So, sorry if we find one that we already showed you. We think we yeah, haven't I don't, shown these. I don't think we've shown them. Anyway. Okay, so that was that one. Yeah. Now, okay. is there a specific next picture, or can yeah. I just pick one? We just pick one. Yeah, can just I pick just one. pick one? Okay. Just, just pick one, and then I'm going to. Uh, okay, I want I'm, you to tell me about. <laughs> let's see. What is. I'm curious about this one. Because there you are with your big smile. Okay, CJ right there with his big smile, standing right there. I want you to tell me what is going on here in this picture. <laughs> I wrote on the back of this picture called, this is a typical scene of our 70s band <laughs> at the airport. And this is a typical scene back in the 70s. We, this, this, uh, it was always this big group of, and hundreds, I mean, to me it was like suitcase after suitcase. Look at all that suitcase. luggage. Oh my goodness! So, do you do you know who uh, specifically? Do you see anyone oh, you recognize oh, there? Oh, I see there. I don't know. Oh, all the band. So they're the band members. The, all the band members. There's Ron Clark right here. So this yeah. is Ron, this is Ron Clark yeah. right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is Jay right here yeah. with his big smile. <laughs> and there's all the band guys of the so 70s. So why are you there with the band? Why are you the only one there? Well, because I was always lifting suitcases with them. So you were just jumped in and always. You'd take care of all the instruments and all that, oh, getting yeah. them. Oh yeah, well, all the brothers did. We all did. I don't yeah. know why, why the other brothers. Is aren't this there. an airport? It's in an airport. That's a Salt Lake airport, I think. So you all just jumped in and you just did all the work. Oh yeah, 
we we well there's enough of us and I and you know we thought why would we you know yeah. we had we did have a guy by the name of Maso Maso no but oh no with us he was our uh, okay. roadie we called him and 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 Mike and all of the uh, Mike was great. Okay, now who's this great. guy? He looks kind of silly. He's doing his own rabbit ears. Oh, uh, behind his um, own head. Oh, uh, um, um, okay, okay. So who is he? Uh, my brain. I, I cannot. He just looks silly. Oh, my brain. Anyway, anyway. that's a that's a cool picture. There's some funny ones. Yeah, I, yeah. When okay. I go back over this, I'll remember all the names, of course. But. Okay, now I want to know what. Oh, you know what, Jay? I think. Okay, tell them about <laughs> this one. What can you hold that there? Oh yeah, uh -huh. and you, can you tell them what's going on? Okay, hold it with your other hand oh, too. Oh, okay, so it's yes. straight. Okay. This basically, uh, we we did lots of uh, 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 what do you call barbershop uh, barbershop shows? But we did it for not just the public. We did it for private conventions and stuff. And and then, so this one was a particular one for the youth, Minnesota's youth, a nonprofit organization. It's called Today for Minnesota's Youth, and, and they gave us the award uh, uh, for that uh, back in, uh, I believe it was in Duluth, Minnesota, and uh, anyway, we do a lot of those uh, kinds of conventions, barbershop conventions, and, or, and doing these little uh, side shows, um, besides, oh, you know, our own shows for like fair dates and stuff, mm -hmm. so... But that was that was that, that is one. a yeah. cool picture. <laughs> I actually awesome. remember holding Look that up. Cute. I was like so proud of that, that real that award that they gave us. Yeah. Okay, now I just made a connection you, baby, here. You're, you're not in the screen. No, it's okay because you're telling your memories. Oh. I just made a connection here. You picked a couple of these photos. Yeah. And they actually are on the same. It's the same thing. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. So this was your mother's photo. Okay. And on the back of this, it says January 26, 1968 on their way to their first recording session with Andy Williams. Okay, okay. this was when Here's, we, Andy signed us with Barnaby Records. Can they see that? It's kind of like, there now, we go. Now that's the, that's our house in Arlita. We were out there, we were on our way to do a photo session for Andy Williams, a brand new signing of Barnaby Records, 1968. So it's your first recording session. Uh -huh. So this was the morning and, of that first recording and, session. Yeah. And then look at this one. When they got there, same outfits. Oh no, no, no they're different. Well, but it's they the got same. The black ties. But see, I think they're they. Black and... Yeah, but I think they reversed. I think with the oh. photography, they added that dark and that light. You can do that because I'm a Photoshopper. Oh, that's right. So you look at that one. That's right. <laughs> and they're actually there. That's the professional photo. Oh yeah, that's right. You're right. They Isn't that something? Because you said that was your first. Yes. Uh, First, first professional, the, that's our per, first professional. With the recording. With the recording, yeah, See, you're right. So even though they've kind of reversed that and made the light dark and the dark light. Isn't that weird? So that is history right there. Now they did Photoshop back those days. Too, oh, yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, well, but it was just done differently. Yeah. But see, that that is history right there. The first time they that, recorded with Andy. Wild? So yeah. what was your thoughts about the first time you recorded? Oh, we were excited because, you know, this is before Mike Curb even signed this up. To, we were we went, we were with Uni Records, uh, I think, uh, for a little bit, and then we went into, and Andy Williams says, well, well, you know, come with my label. So we went to Barnaby, and, uh, but it was just fun. It was those fun days where everybody was looking to get signed up for, uh, in, in, you know, in Los Angeles. Everybody wanted to sign up a record contract and uh, label deal, they call it label deals. Now this so, is a little older. See, there's there's Johnny yeah. there, there he's uh -huh. there. It looks like maybe a couple years older. This is when, this is... This uh, is you, so you were, this was, where was this? This is a typical look, scene of what it looked like when we were singing, you know. Well, but that, are we that recording was, at that, that time? This is, if I remember right, this is when we were recording uh, something for the Andy Williams show. If I remember right, uh, but this is we we're, we we're, we're, we just came out of dress rehearsal, and then we went in after a dress rehearsal. We would go and record it for okay. the for the actual tape. That's why you're all dressed alike. Yeah, because we had just come out of dress rehearsal, and uh, so sometimes when we do all those big dance, you had to record it. You had to pre-record it. We pre-recorded the night before, so this was on a Thursday, and then Friday night we would do the actual show. So. Uh, Re uh, rehearsal was Wednesday. Dress rehearsal was Thursday. That's and what recording. this and, re and recording, 
And then you go Friday night, which is the actual taping. But we only got one chance to tape it. Boy, you, you, you couldn't make any mistakes. But thank goodness we, some, on the big dance numbers anyway, we re pre recorded the vocals. And now, this is that thing, you? Okay, this, no, you gotta show them. This is, is that you, though? That's Marilyn. Marilyn and Wayne. Who's that? That's Marilyn Wayne. Wayne. Okay. Well, this, is, this is a song, a, a big thing we did on Jerry Lewis called High is Better Than Low. And, and we did this acrobatic gymnastic, oh, this was unbelievable. I, I, I don't know if it's on YouTube or not, but it was the Jerry Lewis show. And it was like... Uh, 1970? No, this is when that, this was when they, uh, this, this was, this was before, this was, uh, that's that, uh, Marilyn Wayne. I, it says 1970 on it, but I think it was 68, really is what it is. Mm. But anyway, it was really uh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Okay, now, I have a question about this. Okay. I'm wondering, like, you know how you told me that you guys were taught from the time you were little uh -huh. kids when you would have, I'm fine, sweetie, um, <laughs> you would have moments where your dad would take you in a hotel room, have you lay in the bed and make you rest for like two oh, hours yeah. and turn the light out. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, what is this about? Okay. Is that what this is? Like, we, we is were, this before, the actual... Well, before the shows, uh, we, we were so used, be, like doing Andy Williams' show, we would... Before the taping, we would take a moment to, because we had worked hard all week, right? Uh, so Father would shut the lights out and says, okay, rest time. So we rested for like two hours before the actual show. So even before concerts uh, in the 70s, we would, we would take moments to, to, just before, a couple hours before the show, we would all take a moment just to rest. And, and someone snapped a picture of Alan and Wayne in there. Uh, I think that's Alan and Wayne, yeah. I think it's no, no, wait a minute. That's Marilyn Wayne, excuse me. Marilyn Wayne, uh, resting before a concert. And we would do this before every show. And, and another thing we always did right before the show, we always had prayer before the show, so we never missed uh, a show without a prayer. And two hours before that, we'd always rest, rest our minds. That was, that's cool. I just had, I just that wondered was, about that, that, that one. A, um, now, what about this? I don't know. You, what, I saw this and I, I was goofing around with sis. I don't know what it was. We it looks were, like we, you have a stack of fan mail we, there. We used to love. Uh, mother uh, would bring home, or you know, she'd bring those sacks. Of, we, we'd, we'd read the letters and we'd we'd have fun and we'd we'd uh, try to respond as much as we could. And my sister and I were just being silly and goofy on that one. I don't know really. What well, we're I'm doing. looking and there's a big stack of. See this. It's like a big stack of fan mail there. Yeah. And there's a gift right here oh, of there's some a, kind. People have sent over the years amazing gifts. and oh. You're looking a little loopy there. Look at Jay. I, I didn't know better. <laughs> a loopy. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, so cute. Anyway, here's another one. Um, I don't know what you guys are doing. Donnie and I, we, brother Donnie and I have joked around a lot. He and I, we kind of made each other laugh a lot and, and it'd be silly and I'll never forget that time and that we Donnie was going through a real hard time and 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 so I says okay D and we were stuck in the hotel room but there were a bunch of girls out there outside the the, the balcony and so I ordered in a bunch of uh, pizzas that were uncut I says do not cut them up just full you know pizzas and so we we got these pizzas and we start throwing them out the balcony like frisbees to the girls and and then we'd, we'd then we'd we'd uh, make paper airplanes and fly them out the window and Donnie and I were just always thinking of how to make it fun on the road and so we were probably I'm sure this is one of the many times we were just laughing about ideas we'd have um, we we were roommates um, uh, for a long time before Wayne uh, Wayne. Donnie, early year, the early 70s, uh, Donnie and our roommates, and then Wayne became my roommate in the mid 70s uh, to the 80s. And so, but anyway, this is the early 70s where we would just be silly and try to come up with ideas to make it fun on the road, you know? Mm -hmm. so, That's fun. I love yeah, that picture. Yeah. Okay. What about this one? I can tell it's something to do with the ice skating. Well, you tell me about that. We were practicing for the show for Andy Williams, and I don't and I don't know it. This this baffles me a little because where the indoor rink is where we really practice, 
but we must have gone up to Utah or something uh, and practiced. Because you're some, outside. I know, and I can't, I can't quite put my well, finger on it. Well, and there's actually a guy there taking, taking yeah, photos. Yeah, it's a photo session that we were doing, but we must have been up in Utah practicing or something or in the hospital. I know we did a lot of Because there was no snow like that in California. No, there wasn't. So uh, that one baffles me a little bit. Oh, I look at that one. Yeah, that's Father what Mother. What do you think My, of that? Well, Father always loved to surprise Mother with little... He, I'm going to let you on a little secret, okay. And I don't, I don't think anybody's ever written this in their books, but Father used to put little notes on her Mother's pillow. Oh. And Mother would put little things on her Father's pillow. But silly things, oh. you know? You know how I do our vitamins and I yeah. make little faces and all? Well, they, they would put little little memoirs, little memoirs. Like, for instance, this little lemon that... that yeah. Uh, she sent me, and uh, I, I have to tell you about Jane. Lisa I, have to, I have to send. You, I have to tell them a little story about you. So from the first day we've been married, like I take a lot of vitamins. Like we do vitamin D and, and zinc, <laughs> and we do anyway B twelve or whatever. We take all these vitamins. Well, from the very first day, and it's been a lot of years now. Jay is such a fun. He wants to. He wants to brighten my day. And so he will get the vitamins, and he'll put them on the bed, and he'll make a pitcher out of the vitamins. He'll, he'll create some kind of a pitcher, and it is the sweetest gesture, <laughs> and it's something to lift me or something to make me. And, 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 it, and I'll even, like, I remember little Lizzie. Hi, little Lizzie, if you're watching. I would even, like, snapshot those, and I would send those to Elizabeth, and I'd say, Wow, what is this one? You know, she'd try to guess too. It was sweet. <laughs> so then he makes me try to guess what it is, and it's just the sweetest thing about. Well, him. I got that idea actually from father and mother, and that's what they that. would they would just do silly things under their pillows, and mm -hmm. and so but once in a while father but once in a while father would surprise mother with flowers, and that's what that picture. That's is. so sweet. Yeah. They're the sweetest. Yeah, they now what is this? Okay. I, who are those people, and what are they doing here? This, this is a picture of, in Huntsville. That it, let me, can I just look at it, double check it? If this was in, okay. This is Uncle Tom I, at the very end, mother's brother, Uncle Tom there. And this, ha this was our house right here in Huntsville. And this is a corner picture. I wonder and, if they and, all and remember us showing and, and, them. And, and that it's, house. it's a family photo with uh, relatives. These are some of our relatives, cousins, nephews, nieces. And it, it's in hospital. And I, this was such a find when I found this. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. That's you know what? Right. I'm wondering if we should save some of those for next week because I don't think we're going to get through the whole what thing. What time is this? Oh, my. We're already yeah. over. So, okay. okay. I have to show them this one because well, this is we'll do, hysterical. Okay. What we'll do is we'll save the rest of the stuff for next week. And I have to show you just a couple more. Okay. So you know how I'm talking to, telling you guys about to hang in there with Jay and to encourage him with this musical and that it's going to be his heart. It's it's his heart, and it's his, it's who he is on the stage. And Jay has always been one, as far as I can tell. And if if there's something that you know that he lived your life, I want you to type that in, and he'll oh, look at that later so because Thank you. he just needs some encouragement. It's like, isn't it interesting how there's like those three people or whatever in your life, and 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 there could be like 20 people that are being positive, and those three people can like load you down and. Jay is but such you a, can't focus on that. Well, you can't. But Jay, his heart and his soul is so light and so happy and so positive. And, and I, he just always makes the best out of everything. And so for anyone to think this is going to be negative, I mean, he wants you all to walk out of there just floating on the clouds. He wants you <laughs> to be walking out of there lifted and happy and, and just, uh, you know, full of happiness. And anyway, this is Jay. Okay, this is after he... He, he broke his nose. This is Jay making the best. Look at that face. Oh my gosh, he is adorable, even with his nose broken. So that is Jay in a nutshell right there. Oh. He's just being silly. And, oh. and also this one. This is Jay. <laughs> now, hasn't that brought so much joy to people? It's crazy horses. <laughs> but look at him. That's how he lived his life. And he wants this to be a celebration. He wants it to be positive and happy. Mm. And so... We just appreciate your love and support. I Thank appreciate you. your love you, and support Angel. for this Thank wonderful, you. wonderful boy. Thank you, babe. I appreciate you saying all that. I, I uh, appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, we're, we're just uh, uh, happy that you joined us. And uh, 
And uh, we're going to be doing, during this next week, uh, some videos for Osmond Fit, I think, right, babe? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to show you how to make that mix, if you're interested, in, on, on the, the shake that I love so much. And there's different varieties you can do with the shake, but I'll, I'll show you my basic shake. And then and we're going to put we're going to put it on Osmond Fit. We're going to yeah, let's go live on Osmond Fit. Oh, live. We'll do that during the week, and then also Dr. Mark is going to join us next and, week. And so, if you guys are members of Osmond Fit, go on to Osmond Fit and maybe don't tell us your phone numbers no. or your address. No, your don't do it. that. But tell us if you're having any health issues, not just weight, but tell us if you're having any health issues because Dr. Mark wants to address those, and um, also when you want to start and what your goal is so that he can give you that counsel and because he, he needs those in, that little bit of information mm -hmm. though so that he can help you mm -hmm. through and, and then also what, I'll be uploading that interview from Jay interview oh yes Jay. oh yeah as soon as we're done you've here, I'll got to, to that. watch that with with Alex anyway and, and we have all these more pictures to do my goodness we we'll have a next lot week. going Maybe on here next week and we did just have a lot to do this week so. but you know we've done so many of the pictures in the past but we've never shown these these are at least i don't think we have and uh, i and it's it's oh, just goodness fun. you have great ones yeah all right well we i guess we better end because all it's right. we're already like a few minutes late here oh, oh, okay. and we're sorry we're keeping you long we love you and we just want you to stay connected and not just with us but with each other and most importantly, with God. Yeah. So uh, keep the Lord in your life. And, and uh, until next week. Be grateful. We'll see you. We love you. Bye-bye.